In this video I'll be telling you 5 things you probably missed in the first C. And to make this video easier to watch, I'll be categorizing them, like if there are more than 2 NPCs who sell hidden weapons. I'll mention both of them in one category. So, let's begin. Special abilities are without a doubt one of the most important things in this game. The first hidden NPC that sells these abilities is located at the Frozen Village. Underneath this red dog house is a cave, enter it, and the NPC will be there. This NPC sells three special abilities, the first ability being Air Jump, costing 10,000 belly. It allows you to jump more than two times. The next ability is Aura, costing 25,000 belly, this is for sure the best ability out of the three, as it provides you with defense and damage buffs. The Aura ability has five stages, each stage amplifying the buffs. Everyone starts at stage 0, and the more and more they attack NPCs or players using either melee, swords, or guns, they very slightly get closer to the next stage. For the buffs to apply, you must activate the Aura ability. To activate it, press J or tap the Aura ability on your screen for mobile players, and it should activate. I made a very detailed guide explaining how to quickly max out the Aura ability, and in general, explaining the Aura ability. So go check it out for a more in-depth explanation. The final ability, Flash Step, costing 100,000 belly, allows you to teleport using the hotkey R, slash tap very small distances, with a 15 second cooldown. To get all three abilities, you will need 135,000 belly, which isn't much. The Frozen Village is a very early level island, so by the time you reach the island, you probably have 135,000 belly or something near that margin. Another not necessarily hidden NPC, but still hidden for early level players, is the NPC who sells observation slash instinct Haki. First go to this island at the Skypia Island, which is right above this island. Head into this temple, and enter through here. Go to this ancient temple. This NPC will sell you Observation Haki for 750,000 belly if you've completed the Shanks quest. Most people will find this NPC when grinding on this island, but I know a few people will also miss this NPC when grinding here. This ability allows you to dodge enemy attacks, and when you reach the third C, you'll be able to upgrade it if you've dodged 5,000 enemy attacks. When you first buy this ability, you'll have two dodges, each enemy attack draining 0.5 dodges, so after dodging for attacks, you'll have to wait around 50 seconds for it to recharge. To toggle this ability between on or off, press E, or tap the instinct button on your screen. Now, those are the only two hidden NPCs in the first C who sell special abilities, so let's move on. In the first C, there are three NPCs, all hidden, who sell fighting styles. If you don't know, when you first start Blocks Fruits, your first weapon is combat, which is the worst fighting style due to low damage and slow fire rate. You can change your fighting style, however, by buying them for belly from hidden NPCs who each sell their unique fighting style. The first NPC is located at the Pirate Village, which sells the Dark Step for 150,000, belly. Right here. The Dark Step fighting style is pretty mediocre, and I'd put this as the second best fighting style for the first C. The next hidden NPC sells the electric fighting style for 500,000 belly. Go to the docks of the Skypia Island and follow me. Behind this big rock will be the NPC who sells the electric fighting style. In my opinion, this is the worst fighting style in the first C for 500,000 belly. It's not worth it as it has a slow M1 and bad abilities for grinding. The final hidden NPC sells the Water Kung Fu fighting style, for 750,000 belly at the Underwater City Island. I know many people don't know how to get to Underwater City Island, including me when I was a low level, so here's how you get to this island. Go to the Prison Island, which is a pretty isolated island, so it'll be easy to spot, and then buy a boat and sail right. When you buy a boat, it automatically spawns in the right direction to go to the Underwater City Island. So just sail forward till you see a bunch of rocks surrounding a whirlpool. You're now at the Underwater City, so follow me for the location of the hidden NPC.
This NPC will sell you the water kung fu fighting style, and it's for sure the best fighting style for the first C, as it has a fast M1 and great grinding skills. Those are all the hidden NPCs who sell fighting styles in the first C, so let's move on. Accessories are a pretty vital part of Block's fruits, as they provide you buffs, and in the first C, there are three hidden NPCs that sell secret accessories. The first hidden NPC is located at Marine Fortress, hidden in specifically this watchtower. Go to it, and then climb down this ladder, the NPC will be there. This NPC will sell you the black cape for 50,000 belly, which is the best accessory for the first C. The buffs of this accessory are, plus 100 health and energy, and plus 5% more damage on all attacks. For only 50,000 belly, it has great value, and the only requirement is you have to be level 50 or higher. The next hidden NPC who sells a secret accessory is located at the desert island. Collect this chest, and then enter the hole and follow the passage, it'll lead you to the NPC. This NPC will sell you the accessory for 150,000 belly if you meet these requirements. 300 stat points into sword, and have bought the air jump, aura, and flash step abilities. The buffs of this accessory are plus 10% extra damage on only sword attacks, so I don't recommend getting this accessory unless you're a sword main. The final hidden NPC is located at the Skypia Island. Go to the first floating island at Skypia and follow me. This NPC will sell the Tomo Ring accessory for 500,000 belly. The buffs of this accessory are only plus 10% more damage on only blocks fruit attacks. So I highly don't recommend getting this accessory. For only 50,000 belly, you can get the black cape, which gives you plus 5% extra damage on all attacks, along with 100 extra health and energy. But if you're still going to buy this accessory, you must have 200 stat points into melee. Otherwise he won't sell the accessory to you. Now those are all three hidden NPCs in the first C who sell secret accessories, so let's move on. Swords are very important, they have good damage, and come really handy in PvP, and grinding. There is one hidden NPC who sells a secret sword, and a secret puzzle which can get you another secret sword. The NPC who sells the secret sword is located at the Magma Village Island, follow me from the quest giver to find the NPC. This NPC will sell you the Soul Cane Sword for 750,000 belly, which I highly don't recommend getting as it's way too overpriced and not worth it. The next secret sword can be obtained for free by completing this puzzle, so here's how you complete it. Also, you must be level 200 or higher, otherwise, you can't obtain the sword. Now that you know that, let's start. The first step is to activate all five buttons located around the jungle island, here are all the locations of the button. The first button is near the Blocks Fruits Garcha. Once you activate all five buttons, follow me. Go into the hole. Walk into the torch, and it should appear in your hot bar, I don't get the torch, since I've already completed this puzzle. Now, head to the desert island. Go through the door of the sinking house. There will be a door here, hold the torch and walk into the door. It'll burn the door, and you can walk through. Walk into this chalice, and it'll appear in your hot bar. Now go to the frozen village. Go to this cave, hold the chalice, and walk under this water leak. It'll fill the chalice with water. Now follow me. Interact with this NPC, and he'll take your chalice filled with water, now head to the pirate village.
Interact with this NPC, and he'll ask you to defeat a mob leader, follow me for the location of the mob leader. Defeat the mob leader and go back to the NPC at the pirate village. He will then say this, and give you a relic, now head to the jungle island. Right here will be a 2D shape of the relic, hold out the relic and walk into it, and this wall will open up. The Shanks boss spawns here every 30 minutes, so just rejoin servers till you find him. When you defeat the boss, he'll have a 100% chance to drop the Saber Sword, which is the best sword for the first C if you don't have the Dark Blade, which costs 1200 Robux. Now those are all the hidden swords you can get on the first C, so let's move on. If you have the Dark Blade Game Pass, you may or may not know it can be awakened to its V2 form when you reach level 350 or higher. To awaken this sword to V2, head to the Middle Town Island and follow me. Enter through the door of this house with the green roof. Interact with this NPC, and if you're level 350 or higher, and have Dark Blade, he should set you on a quest which I'll cover how to complete now. Go to the Frozen Village, and behind the quest giver will be this doghouse named Indra, interact with it. It'll give you a few dialogue options, press on them in this order, say me why, give nothing, give good, you know well, sure thing bro. As I've already done this quest, I can't complete the full dialogue, but just press on the dialogue options in that order. You'll now have to collect three love letters, follow me for their locations. Use the Z skill of Dark Blade to break through the wall. Make sure you interact with the letter and finish all of its dialogue. The next letter is at the town at the Skypier Island. Specifically, in this blue house, use the Z skill of Dark Blade to break the door. The final letter is located behind the fortress at the Marine Fortress Island. You will have to solve this maze to find the letter, using your Z skill to break the walls, but simply follow my route to finish this maze. Once you finish the dialogue of this letter, return to the NPC at Middle Town. Interact with the NPC, and he'll awaken your Dark Blade to V2, which increases the damage of Dark Blade, and makes the abilities better and visually better. And yeah, those are all the hidden things in the first C that you probably missed. Anyway guys, that's the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe, as it helps me greatly. Anyway, bye.